Yeah, I think we probably already have covered it. And it just comes down to practice room goals. And practice room goals can be, um, they're, they're usually developed around um, practice partners and manipulating those, 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 uh, those, um, those live wrestling settings. So, um, yeah, I think we've already pretty much touched on that pretty heavily. And I think your, your listeners probably um, are, are doing a lot of those things already at, as is. Um, I think the main thing is emotionally, we know what we're supposed to do, but doing it is something completely different. So sometimes that, well, again, that comes down to the mission accomplished list that we have in our notebook, right? So while we're baby stepping towards the top of the mountain, turn around, sit down, take a deep breath, and just look at how far you've come. It's very exciting, you know? So I don't think there is any baby stepping without perspective and spending a little time smelling the roses and patting yourself on the back and coaches and parents should do this too and this is something that I'm I'm actually very good at uh, I actually got called the Oprah Winfrey of wrestling about 10 years ago and the guy kind of cheap shot at me but I took it as a compliment you know and I was like dude I'm always looking for positive right um, and I think some some people just are not they think well I'm a tough coach no, you're not. You're a negative coach. No one likes you. The parents don't like you. The kids don't like you. You have 11 kids on your team. You know, the, before you took the team over, we had um, 20 girls, 40 JV and freshmen, and a full varsity lineup. You're not a tough coach. You're a jerk. You're a negative jerk. You know, well, I work people hard. No, you don't. You physically torture people, and you call it, you're a terrible coach. A great coach is actually one who runs a quick Organized practice, boom, 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 because these kids are at my mercy, aren't they? So I'm in charge of your success to many ways. Um, and I have to be completely positive. And hey, if you're not working hard, I'm like, hey, we're doing extra. Jonathan, you got to do better. The whole class is starting over. Boom. I'm not going to let you run the practice. I'm in charge. Don't get me wrong, because that's what a lot of people do. Whenever you talk about, especially to a negative person, you always know who you're talking to, right? When you do a post on social media about being positive and, um, you know, there's, here come the comments. Well, I can't let the kids play at practice. And I'm like, okay, please go away. <laughs> I mean, you're like, God, I know you're, see, I know, I know what you're doing, dude. I, I know who's on the other side of that keyboard, right? But, um. Yeah. So as far as baby stepping your way to success, look at your list of accomplishments. Look at how far you've come. Allow yourself to be a human. Allow yourself to not have to hit a home run every freaking day of your life. And um, I think that is a key component to being able to baby step because we all know that we're supposed to, but it's difficult to do. And if you have a wrestler or a jujitsu athlete who's very hard on themselves, then you as a coach need to sit them down and say, hey, now this is what I was thinking. How bad did you beat uh, Micah today? Oh, yeah, I beat her by four points. Do you remember in July when you started in this room, she used to destroy you? Yeah. Okay. Are you happy about that? Because I'm very proud of you. And she's like, yeah, I am happy about that. Now that you mention it, you know, because this girl's so driven, all she wants to do is beat everybody all the time. But, um, so I think that us coaches can do a better job of that too. And, um, you know, uh, target those athletes who really, really need it. Because I knew a, I knew a guy who worked with a high level athletes on the United States Greco Olympic team. And he goes, Nick, my most successful athletes are my least happy. And I'm like, makes perfect sense to me. And he was like, no, Nick, these people are miserable. And I was like, that's how I, that's how I, that's how I approach sports. So I totally get it. So sometimes we got to pinpoint those athletes, I think.